Welcome to Art Wine and Anarchy. Today we are here at the home and studio of Amrita McKenzie, Kalapana painter. So, how'd you get started on this little project of yours? Well, I started at a young age. My mother is also a painter. Mm -hmm. And I started as soon as I could hold a paintbrush. <laughs> and uh, I haven't stopped. All right. So where's the first venue do you think that you showed your work? I showed my work when I was 19 at a art gallery in Oklahoma, actually. Oh, okay. I was, my first boyfriend was from there. Yeah, it was like a benefit art show or something. I don't remember now. But I, I sold a piece. I sold a small piece for $100. I was super excited about it. <laughs> Nice, nice. Well, that must have given you a lot of motivation, yes, right? definitely. And then how about your time time here on this island? Well, I grew up here and I always put my work out there before I had any art showing in a gallery. I would take my notebook everywhere my, and draw with colored pencils and sell my little drawings. Okay, that's the thing that you've been into a long, for a long time. The natural entrepreneur has always come out. Yeah. Right? Okay. <laughs> I and went to festivals and everywhere that there was anything happening. I pretty much lived on my own from my art at, from a young age, just selling my little drawings and ended up leaving the island with my boyfriend and traveling and traveled the world and ended up back home and here I am. <laughs> that is unusual and nice to hear somebody can say that somebody within my generation being able to say that they were able to make a living from their art at a young age. And you know, most most people who find that success is later and much later in life. Yeah, well, I, I got by. I wasn't like a wealthy artist, but I was doing what I loved and surviving. And hey. I still am. <laughs> hey, what feeds your bank account doesn't necessarily feed your soul. Exactly. So, yeah. Yeah. And then what's a major outlet for you here? Well, I paint live at events. Mm -hmm. And I really enjoy that. It, the music really informs my work, and it, and I feel like there's a back and forth too, with especially with live music. That's my favorite. Right, of course. And then DJs too. It just being in that when there's that creative flow and that collective consciousness of people coming together. It really, I start a lot of my new pieces out painting live because it's just like there's all this energy and it pushes me. Yeah, some people would call that spontaneous natural order. Yes. Uh, that's a big thing in Taoism and Asian art and, and whatnot. And, yeah. You know, that, that whole vibe of, of everybody just creating off the cuff all at the same time. Yes. Just creates a singular creative force that I think everybody can kind of beat off. Definitely. Of. What do you think? Definitely, I agree. Yeah. And I yeah. love dancing too, so the music definitely part of my creative process I need to be where I can dance and feel the music and yeah. <laughs> all right so let's take a look at your work sounds good all right <laughs> stay tuned for the next portion